forward together. That's the purpose of a gathering tonight at Big Spring Park. That's where we begin tonight. I'm Connor Ford and I'm Chase Gallimore. Thank you for joining us. It's a community brought together by tragedy. Our Rachel Wilkerson was there as the Homicide Survivors Program hosted a vigil. I once was the Big Spring Park was filled with family and friends as they gathered together for the 18th annual Homicide Survivors Vigil to remember the lives of loved ones who were murdered. We want to honor him. He was beaten to death five months ago and today is his birthday. He would have been 32 today. It's a tragedy that will stick with the family forever. It's just you never get over it. You never get over it. It goes through my mind a hundred times a day. I can be doing whatever I'm doing, but then all of a sudden there's that one moment that you go back and think of him and ask why. I was totally devastated. I'm, that was my baby, my life. It was me and him for 12 years and I held him in my arms the night he died. And people don't realize what they do to the families left behind. They haven't hurt the one they're angry with. They've hurt the whole family. But they come together as a community to keep the memories going. Everyone needs to come together, express their feelings and their thoughts and kindly form together and grieve together. And to bring awareness to the violence in the Tennessee Valley. We have to support each other because to me this is a war. We're losing children in numbers unbelievable. I mean, I've got 45 on this shirt and I've got five more to add. Putting the Valley first, Rachel Wilkerson, WZDX News. And according to Huntsville Police, there have been 16 homicides already this year.